all about Tom Sizemore's kids. The actor, who is in critical condition following a brain aneurysm, is the father of twin sons Jagger and Jaden. In addition to being an actor, Tom Sizemore is a dad to two twins, Jagger and Jaden, who were born in 2005. Although Sizemore has made headlines for his acting career and legal troubles, he tends to keep his family life out of the spotlight. However, he has stepped out with his sons on various occasions throughout the years. In recent weeks, Sizemore has been hospitalized in critical condition following a brain aneurysm. On February 27, the actor's manager, Charles Lago, confirmed to people that loved ones are deciding end-of-life matters after doctors informed his family that there is no future hope and have recommended end-of-life decision. The actor, 61, has been in a coma in intensive care after collapsing in his Los Angeles home in the early hours of February 18. He had suffered a brain aneurysm as a result of a stroke, according to his manager. Learn more about Sizemore's children and what he has said about fatherhood ahead. Jagger and Jaden Sizemore Sizemore has two sons, twins Jagger and Jaden, who were born in July 2005. He shares the twins with his ex, Janelle McIntyre. Though he has raised them out of the public eye, he has occasionally taken them onto events for his work. In August of 2012, the twins made a rare appearance with their dad as they attended the premiere of the stop-motion animated film Paranorman and posed for a cute snapshot with their dad. That same month, the twins were photographed attending a Los Angeles Dodgers game with their father at Dodger Stadium. During an interview with The Real Breakdown in 2012, Sizemore briefly opened up about his sons as he discussed his role in Cellmates and how being three years sober has affected his relationship with his kids. Fatherhood didn't change me in the beginning very much. I was ill, he admitted, in reference to his struggles and substance abuse, and the boys were kept from me. In the last couple of years, it's been great. I try to stop and take a 10 second break and ask myself before I do something. One, is this going to improve my life for my children? Or two, will there be a potential for something to go wrong here? Following his numerous controversies and legal troubles, he added that he was trying to re-establish his career and do great work in an effort to give his kids the life they deserve. In 2017, Sizemore gave an update on his sobriety, noting that his life's gotten a lot better since giving up drugs. It's been a real chronicle, but I've got a long history of substance abuse. I was in a really bad place, he told the Daily Mail. I'm coming up four years sober. It was really difficult. The first two years were miserable and I thought I'd never smile again, he admitted. But I am smiling again. You've got to stick around until you feel better. Thomas Sizemore Jr. is an American actor. He's known for his supporting roles in Born of the Fourth of July, Harley Davidson and the Marbolo Man, Passenger 57, True Romance, Natural Born Killers, Strange Days, Heat, Saving Private Ryan, Red Planet, Black Hawk Down, Pearl Harbor, and the revival television series Twin Peaks and his voicing of Sonny Forelli in the video game Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Sizemore was born in Detroit, Michigan. His mother, Judith, was a member of the City of Detroit's Ombudsman staff and his father, Thomas Edward Sizemore Sr., was a lawyer and philosophy professor. He was raised Roman Catholic. Sizemore stated that his maternal grandfather was of French and Native American ancestry. One of Sizemore's earliest film appearances was in Oliver Stone's Born on the Fourth of July. Other early roles also included Locked Up, Harley Davidson and the Marbolo Man, Point Break, True Romance, Natural Born Killers, and Strange Days. Sizemore starred in the independent drama film Love is Like That with actress and model Pamela Gidley and had the supporting role in Kevin Costner's Wyatt Earp as Bat Masterson. For his performance in Heart and Souls, he was nominated for the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor. A succession of well-received supporting parts followed, notably including his portrayal of Michael Chirito in the heist film Heat. Sizemore's first major leading role was as Vincent de Gosta in The Relic. Sizemore had a reoccurring role on the television series China Beach as an enlisted man named Vinny who was in love with Dana Delaney's character. Sizemore continued to play leading and character parts in many films, notably Devil in a Blue Dress, Bringing Out the Dead, and Witness Protection. Saving Private Ryan has proved to be the most commercially successful project to date, bringing in $217 million at the box office. In the early 2000s, Sizemore appeared in action films such as Pearl Harbor starring Ben Affleck and Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down. He had a voice role as Sonny Forelli in the video game Grand Theft Auto Vice City. 
Sizemore starred in Ticker, an action film directed by Albert Pine with Steven Seagal and Dennis Hopper. He also starred in the well-reviewed but short-lived television drama series Robbery Homicide Division. It was cancelled midway through its first season. He appeared prominently in the Mel Gibson-produced paparazzi and played an undercover cop in Swindle, opposite Sherilyn Fenn. That same year, he starred in The Genius Club, played a terrorist who taunts seven geniuses into solving the world's problems in one night. He then went on to play a leading role in the action thriller film Splinter with Edward James Olmos. The next year, television network VH1 aired a six-episode reality TV series called Shooting Sizemore, depicting the actor's life as he struggled to regain his career in the midst of battling long-standing addictions to methamphetamine and heroin. The series also covered an ongoing legal appeal of his conviction for an assault of former Hollywood madam Heidi Fleece. In the same year, the actor starred in the indie drama film Oranges with Tom Arnold and Jill Hennessy, which was directed by Syrian director and producer Joseph Merhi. Sizemore performed in two films that screened at the 2008 Sundance Film Festival, Red and American Sun. He was highly prolific that year, starring in The Last Lullaby, the Flyboys with Stephen Baldwin, action film Stiletto with Tom Berger and Michael Bean, drama film Toxic with Costas Mandalore, and the Canadian drama A Broken Life with Ving Roms. He went on to appear in five episodes of the television series Crash with Dennis Hopper and the comedy film Super Capers. Sizemore starred in the indie horror film Murder 101 and co-starred with Kyra Sedgwick and Vincent Donofiero in the comedy drama film Chlorine. Sizemore also starred alongside martial arts actor Mark DeCascos in the action film Shadows in Paradise, followed by an appearance as a trucker in an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Sizemore appeared alongside the insane clown posse in the comedy film Big Money Rustlers, and the drama 513 with Michael Madison. Sizemore has roles in the films Suing the Devil and White Knight, as well as the adventure film The Age of Reason. He saw a career resurgence when he was cast as a series regular in the USA Network action program Shooter, starring Ryan Phillip. He went on to receive positive notices for the drama thriller Calico Skies. In 2017, he appeared as an insurance agent, Anthony Sinclair, in David Lynch's revival miniseries Twin Peaks, and portrayed FBI agent Bill Sullivan in the drama film Mark Felt, The Man Who Brought Down the White House. In 2020, Sizemore appeared in Clean, a thriller horror indie film, and won a Vegas Movie Award, and in 2021, won another Vegas Movie Award for a supporting role in the indie film The Electric Man, with Vernon Wells and Eric Roberts. In 2022, Sizemore also won an Indie Fest Film Award and Accolade Competition Award for a supporting role in The Electric Man. In January of 2022, Sizemore joined the cast of The Legend of Jack and Diane, a feature film described as a female-fronted revenge thriller directed and written by Bruce Bellocci. The same year, he was the lead star of the comedy series Barbie Rehab alongside Bai Ling and Janice Dickinson. Sizemore fronted the Hollywood rock band Day 8. Formed in 2002, the band recorded a four-song EP produced and recorded by Bradley Dijmovic and former snout soulfly guitarist Mike Doling. Originally called The Bystanders, the group included guitarist and co-writer Rock Castro, Alan Mufferson, Tyrone Tomkey, and Michael Taylor. 